Honestly, I've never been happier before in my whole entire life. I'm finally living with the love of my life in the city of my dreams. I finally got my work visa to live in Canada because Kira didn't want to move to the United States. But anyway, that's not important. I'm so excited and ready to start living my life with Kira. Everything is perfect. Well, other than us still living with my mother. But don't even worry, we've already started to look at places and we're probably gonna move out in like a month. Waking up next to Kira every day is like everything I've ever wanted in my whole entire life. Yeah, except Lauren has really bad morning breath. Well, Kira takes all the fucking blankets. Lauren farts when she sleeps and they're so loud that she wakes me up like six times a night. <laughs> Kira stabs me with her toenails every fucking night. Hasn't anyone ever taught her to clip those daggers? But, you know, I love her and I couldn't live without her. Wake the fuck up. The government just announces a pandemic outside. So, so put your anxiety away and let's go get groceries for the next two weeks. Oh wait, what? Oh, and we're all out of toilet paper, so you two better stock up considering the amount you two poop. What time even is it? Can we just go this afternoon? No, mask up, bitches. Let's go. Oh. Come on. Oh. Is Catherine actually for real right now? Like the audacity she has to burst into my room at the ass crack of dawn and trigger my anxiety like that? At least knock. lost her marbles. deserve this fucking glass of wine right now. I had to body slam someone for the last garlic hummus. And there's no toilet paper. Like, anywhere. Oh, and I had to use last season's Christmas napkins to wipe my ass. So, I had a mental breakdown in the grocery store. And I think it went pretty well. I mean, the security guard had to escort me out because apparently I was making a scene. Okay. Kira threw an apple at an old lady's head because she coughed once. I need to set some ground rules for these two girls because they're playing house. They're not playing reality. This is reality. First of all, this is 2.5 pH acidic water. Gargle with it and snort it when you come in from outside. This bitch wants me to burn my nostrils with acid water. Secondly, you will need to be smudged because there is way too much toxic energy in this condo right now. Are you kidding me? She thinks that we're toxic? I am choking from the spit that is coming out of her mouth right now. Thirdly, 
you two have not been doing your part in cleaning. So here is a list of household chores that need to be done. Take that back. I am fucking melting, fucking evaporating by the words that Catherine is saying right now. I moved up here to be independent, not be parented by someone else's mother. Lauren, get used to it, honey. This is what I've had to deal with my entire life. I swear to God, if she makes me lick all of the vents to get all of the dust in the cracks, she better sleep with one eye open. Oh yeah, bitch, I went there. No one is fucking visiting. There was a literal pandemic. I don't need to crawl on the bathroom floor on my knees and scrub the tile for guests. What guests? So little Miss Ohio thinks she can just waltz in here, ball up my chart list, and throw it on my back. When you don't know who you're messing with, you're messing with Katie G. If you don't do these chores, I am done making you dinner. And then you'll have to fend for yourselves. I'm done being your personal chef. Well, you know what, Mom? We actually don't need you. That's why they invented food delivery services. Wait, Kira, I'm not gonna lie, I can't afford $40 a meal. We're kind of like unemployed. Shit. I knew they'd do it if I bribed them with food. You know, they act like I'm not a tourist too. I am so over her. The utter disrespect. <laughs> Lauren, honey, you missed a spot. Is it too late to move back to Ohio? I can't believe my titties. Lauren left the condo. And she's touching stuff, and I saw in her Insta story, there is a pigeon that was not six feet away. No, she didn't. 